the shot is perfect. <laughs> Hello ladies and gentlemen, it is your host with the most, Avery LR32 here, and real quick before we get into this video, I don't know if I mentioned it a while back or not, but uh, my tripod actually broke on me. So literally, from bottom to top, I have a notebook, a bunch of PS3 and PS4 games, and then some DS games, and then my 3DS, all under my camera so that I can basically use my camera as like a sort of tripod um, to have myself in the angle. Uh, this is my ham board back here, five foot seven by 15 inches. That's what she said. <laughs> um, but in all seriousness, I wanted to talk to you guys about something uh, rather important because this is a big update video and I haven't posted in two weeks. That's pretty much normal for me. <laughs> Um, <clears throat> but I've been thinking about something for a while now and I wanted to get it off my chest with you guys and I completely understand if you know you're angry at me or whatever the case may be I hardly get any views so I don't think it really matters <laughs> um, but I had seen a video from Alpha Omega Sin I didn't watch it but I just looked at the title where some sort of glitch was making YouTubers lose a bunch of subscribers and I noticed I went from 486 to 474 I don't know if it's part of this glitch or not I quite honestly kind of doubt it just because of my channel size. I doubt that it would affect me. I mean, around maybe half of my subscribers are active or so. It just all kind of depends on the day. Um, but regardless of whether it's part of the glitch or not, that has nothing to do with why I'm making this video. I just happened to notice that when this glitch was being talked about on YouTube, that my sub count did drop a good few numbers. Um, but the reason why I'm making this video for you guys and why it's titled Update and then three periods, or at least that's what I'm planning on naming this, <laughs> is because of the fact that I really just don't have a drive. I'm being honest with you guys. I've been doing this for going on about five years on and off now, ever since I started playing in 2008, um, back when they changed the Fusion Deck to the Extra Deck, and Teledad and Lightsworn were basically at full power. Um, actually, yeah, they were at full power. Um, a little bit after that, right when the Infernity format started, I got into Yugi tubing and I thoroughly enjoyed it. I had a lot of fun. I've talked about it before to where, like within the first few days of me starting up my channel, I got to 15 subscribers, then 25, then 50, then I dropped back down to 25, then 15, then 10, then 5, and then it was like, it was just weird. And then over all these years, I've slowly but surely grown, um, not at the growth that I obviously want to see, but, um just over these past couple weeks with me being so busy with life and my job and I'm talking to a girl right now, it's just, I've got so many more important things that I wanna do than make videos. Like, I mean, it's that's just how it is. I'm not saying that I'm quitting because I do wanna get that clear. Y'all are probably already unsubscribed by this point, dislike the video and leave left hate comments, that's fine. <laughs> but what I wanna make clear is that I'm not quitting Yu-Gi-Oh. I'm on the downhill trend of my career, but I'm not quitting the actual game yet. And as Yugi tubing goes, as far as that goes, I'm not shutting down my channel. I'm still going to be active leaving comments on, you know, MCO40's videos, Capital G's videos, Design Enigma, whoever. Um, but I'm not going to be posting as frequently as I try to. So meaning, I might go two months without posting a video and then I see a cool deck that I want to post on my channel. I'll post and be like, hey guys, what's up? It's been a long time. Let me show you this cool video. Or let me show you this cool deck, excuse me. Or like there's a YouTuber I watch named Monday Matt. Um, I see a video from him, maybe I wanna make a response video to it, I'll make a response video to it on this channel. So the videos that I upload from this point on may not necessarily be about uh, Yu-Gi-Oh. Um, they might be more about something in, going on in the gaming industry or me making a response video to somebody else. Because, you know, let's be real here. Everybody's views are down in the YouTubing community. You look at Vexy, Vexy gets what, 500 views a video? Robbie gets 1,000 views a video? I mean, that's nothing compared to his channel size. He has 55,000 subscribers. It doesn't matter how long he's been doing it, he should at least be getting seven to 9,000 views. Even Capital G, unless he's doing a top 10 video, like his video is giving maybe four to 5,000 views, um, maybe nine to 10,000 on a good day. You know, it's the the Yugi the views for Yugi tubers are nothing like they were back in 2008, 2009, or even 2010, hell, even 2011, 2012. The views are just not there. And, you know, this isn't what it's all about, but I will admit it kind of saturated in my mind a little bit is that the money's not there either. 
why am I going to do something and you know put all this time and effort into it to try and hopefully see some growth and then the video gets 20 views when freaking you know I, I need to be able to see some success in order to get my channel off the ground rolling make a brand out of my name and whatever and try and make a couple bucks to pay for college or whatever and I'm not seeing it you know the last video I posted two weeks ago was a badass Grand Maju de Isa OTK got like 53 views that's not bad I mean that's close to 100 but it's not 100 it's not a thousand it's not 10,000 you know I've been doing this for five years on and off I still think I should be around Robbie's channel size but like I said I've been working on and off on this channel so you know I guess that clearly shows that the effort's not there um, even a while back, a buddy of mine called me up one day and said, "Hey, I was wondering if you want to do a podcast with me." And I was, I was very humbled, and I, you know, really wanted to do it. But it's just my life is just so busy that I can't afford to be doing a podcast, my job, and my college work and whatever. You know, it's just, it's, it's not there for me. It's really not. Um, I was even talking with my buddy a few weeks ago, and I was telling him about how, yeah, man, you know, like I want to be able to make some easy money off of YouTube, so I'm able to help pay for college or whatever. And he's like, "Dude, you can't just be doing it for the money." because then that shows that your passion isn't there. And I really don't feel a passion for YouTube right now. I honestly don't. And you know, it's just, like I said, I'm not going to be just completely stopping the channel, shutting it down and everything else. My videos are still gonna be here for any of you that wanna go back and watch my videos from the old days or whatever, or like my Gishki FTK video, uh, or videos I should say, my self-destruct button videos, which is really what made me popular. Um, but as far as anything else goes, I'm, I'm just not feeling it, you guys. I'm really not. And I will admit, 50% of it was for the money. 50% was for the fun. 50% was for the money. Um, but let me tell you right now that there is not a YouTuber out there that is going to tell you that they don't do it just for fun. Like, let's be real here. If Robbie wasn't making a decent amount of profit off of YouTube, I'm pretty sure he wouldn't be doing it. Jack Jacksepticeye, PewDiePie, Markiplier, Vanoss Gaming, I'm pretty sure they wouldn't be posting as much if they weren't making money off of YouTube. Let's just be completely honest here. So, you know, that's the thing. I'm in college, I gotta make money. I really enjoy Yu-Gi-Oh, I love playing the game, but I also haven't been active like nearly at all in this game. And it's just, it, it sucks. Like, I mean, I've been selling a lot of my collection. I've made at least a thousand dollars from selling my cards to cool stuff. And I'm gonna be going to Worlds and I'm gonna be talking with uh, this vendor that will hopefully buy the rest of my collection. Because let's face it, there's no point really having a collection anymore. Konami's just screwing us over more and more and more. It's like, screw you, Konami. I'm just gonna sell my entire collection, sell everything and all this other crap, and then just buy cards from the secondary market as I see fit. You know, maybe I'll go to sneak peeks and stuff to get a certain specific card, but other than that, what's the point when you can just buy singles and have the deck, then once you get your invite or once you've played a couple of regionals with it, because we don't know when we're getting our balance because there's no end date, then you end up selling the deck until the next best deck comes around. And that's probably what I'll do with ABCs, because the ABC deck seems really busted and seems like it's going to be the best deck of the format. And, you know, that's another thing too that I really hate about Yu-Gi-Oh! is that uh, they don't have an end date on the ban list. It's ridiculous. So I don't know if the investment I'm making in my deck is going to be worth anything because then they might kill it a month later. You know, so it's ridiculous. It's stupid. I really hate how Konami's running things, and I'm a judge myself, and I'm saying this crap. And yeah, so I mean, if that doesn't really vouch for it, I don't know what does. But I'm just sick and tired of not seeing any success. I'm just sick and tired of feeling like I'm putting in my knowledge into the game, putting my knowledge into the community, not seeing any sort of growth. And you know, there's gonna be people out there that say, you know, you gotta post daily, you gotta post more than once a week, you gotta post more than twice a week, blah, 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 blah. I understand that. But at the same time, with how busy my schedule is, it's like a vicious cycle. You know, I get in the moment where I'm like, all right, let's make a video, let's make the channel grow. But then something comes up and I get busy, or I have to work, or I have to, you know, do this or whatever. And it's like, you know, this isn't something I really want to put up with. I want to be able to go on YouTube, chill out, not have to worry about an upload schedule, or go to bed, like, worrying, like, oh my god, I need to upload, I haven't uploaded forever, and then it, like, sits on my mind. It's not something I want to worry about. I just want to upload whenever the hell I feel like it. And, you know, it, it's just where my mind is right now. And honestly, I can't thank all of you enough. Even though I only have seven, 474 subscribers, I mean, the friends I've made through YouTube and the falling outs I've had through YouTube, you know, regardless, sometimes, I, you know, I make a video on YouTube and I have a blast with the people that I used to be friends with, and I feel like I have 474,000 subscribers. Like, the number just goes out the window. Um, and granted, you know, the falling outs that I've had with people is whatever, you know. Uh, 
it, it, stuff happens. Life happens. You know, you, you can't control other people's opinions, but, you know, you, you don't screw with me. That's all I have to say on that. Um, but regardless, I thank each and every one of you for being on this journey with me. Like I said, you know, if you want to unsubscribe because you don't know when I'll be posting, that's fine. If you want to stay subscribed for that once in a blue moon upload that I do, whether it's me longboarding on this thing, <laughs> um, or if it's me like making a response video to somebody, or if it's me talking about the gaming industry, or talking about a really badass deck that I want to bring up to you guys, then please, by all means, stay subscribed. Um, all I ask is that you just click at least one advertisement. Helps me make that college of money. I got to be able to make my way through. And for people that want to hate me for doing that, Desilent Enigma does it too, and he gets a hell ton of more views than I do. So this has been almost an 11 minute video. Uh, thank you guys so much. It has been a lot of fun. All the memories that I have from YouTube, I will never forget. Um, I will try to upload when I can, but no promises. Um, and it is what it is. You know, um, a lot of people have been getting out of the game. There's no money in the YouTube community. There's, um, you know, unless you're a big ass person like PewDiePie or Jacksepticeye or whatever, there's really no money to be made anyway. So other than that, I hope to see you guys at Worlds. Um, I probably won't be playing. I'll just be selling all my crap because I don't have a deck right now other than Monarchs and I'm not playing a crappy brick deck unless I'm just screwing around with friends and having fun. I'd rather play the best deck. That's just my thinking, that's how I am. I've always played the best deck ever since Infernity Format. Like from Infernity Format, no, Quick Draw Format, because Quick Draw Format happened before Infernity Format. So ever since Quick Draw Format, I've played the best deck, pretty much. Um, so yeah, or I've played somewhere close to a tier one deck. But I hope you guys enjoyed this very long ass video, almost 12 minutes long. Thank you guys again so much for everything. It's been a fun ride and um, I'll be back on YouTube at some point, I'm making a video or whatever, but until then, stay tuned for my live streams if I do any, and um, you guys rock. Goodbye.